I'm standing with the beautiful McDonald River behind me. There's been a lot of rain, so it's got tons of water in it, but no matter whether it's got a little bit of water or lots, you're going to find a very special place here in the McDonald Valley. I'm in St Albans. It's also known as the Forgotten Valley, and it really is a magical place. It's not the kind of place you can just whiz through in an afternoon and get a feel for. It's a place to come and stay, edged by Wollamai National Park, and all around us is National Park. You can go for walks, uh, there's the wonderful Settler's Arms that we'll take a look at a bit later on, and there's beautiful accommodation to stay in, including where I am now, at the courthouse. Kate and Rob have an 1880s property here, one of the earliest properties in the area, beautiful sandstone, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a peek inside at something really special. There's not many places you stay where the bathroom is a converted prisoner's cell. And this one opens up onto the prisoner's exercise yard. And no visit to St Albans is complete without a stop at the Settler's Arms. Whether it's a roaring fire or a beautiful day outside, it's a place to stop for a beer or a cider. Settler's Arms in the heart of St Albans is one of the oldest pubs in the country and it's got beautiful sandstone, a glorious place just to enjoy this wonderful little valley. But my advice would be to do it midweek. That's really what the local businesses would appreciate. You're coming and staying for at least part of your stay during the week. That way you can walk Divines Hill the old convict trail in peace. You can also visit the native nursery that's just up the Wollamai Road. And the beautiful thing about St Albans is there's no mobile reception. So you're forced to disconnect from your technology and you can reconnect with people and have a yarn. On your way to or from St Albans, make sure you stop in Wiseman's Ferry. The Grocers is renowned for its coffee, but they do fantastic milkshakes. And the Ferry Artist Gallery, which is brings together work from artists all over the area, is a perfect place to have a browse. There's jewellery, there's artworks on the walls, there's ceramics, and if you can't resist it, just like me, you'll be taking something home.